So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm able to play with our brand new Tier 9 Battle Pass reward vehicle called Lorraine 50T. It is a Tier 9 French heavy tank, which uh, basically, long story short, is AMX M4 MLE 51 uh, in Tier 9, you know, with a lot less armor, but a lot faster as well. Slightly smaller profile if you compare those tanks side by side. Just take a look, you know, slightly a smaller profile. But overall, you know, in a nutshell, it is a weaker, faster version of TIS. It doesn't have as strong of a turret armor-wise. You can see 380-40 versus 250-70-30. Uh, and on hull, you know, basically everything what is able to see this tank is able to penetrate it, I would say so, in uh, tier 8 battles, in tier 9 battles, it's able to penetrate the hull. And, uh, you know, the upper hull, guys, is the weakest part, don't even go for the lower plate, lower plate is the strongest part in front of the vehicle, so simply aim up over there and you should be able to penetrate it. Uh, but uh, today let's uh, have a look uh, how this tank performs. So I was able to unlock this vehicle by purchasing all the battle passes uh, with the uh, press account basically. I'm still going to grind it out a long way uh, with my main account. Just completing every single stage simply by playing the game. But over here to showcase this vehicle to you, I was able to use the press account. Uh, so this tank comes with 400 alpha damage boomstick with 264 millimeters of penetration on the standard round, standard AP round and 308 with uh, APCR as a special round. Uh, accuracy is quite nice actually, I have to say accuracy is good but the aiming time is uh, um, compared to the accuracy very long, uh, over 2.5 seconds I would say uh, aiming time is quite long. Minus 10 degrees of counter pressure is uh, very nice though, uh, slightly above 2000 dpm if you use a rammer. So the dpm is not anything special aiming time gun handling overall i would say is average at the very best mobility however is very good it has 60 kilometers per hour top speed uh, and 15 moving backwards as stock value 16.27 power to weight ratio if it is fully equipped up with 900 horsepower engine a view range, if you want to get the maximum view range, you either have to use ventilation and uh, food setup or simply going for coated optics. But uh, honestly, I do not recommend going for coated optics because this tank can use uh, uh, other equipment units more, in my humble opinion. For example, one of my setups is with improved hardening, rammer and stabilizer. And the other setup is with the new Bond Turbo I'm going to showcase in today's video as well. Uh, rammer and stabilizer. I would say rammer and stabilizer are quite uh, must have on this tank simply because of the lack of TPM and uh, you know this gun needs to be stabilized uh, a bit more. And another special thing to mention about this tank is it comes with the uh, large repair kit or built-in infinite large repair kit which gives you permanent bonus as well plus 15% to the module repair speed. It is slightly better than the large repair kit uh, which uh, simply gives you 10% I believe so it is slightly better than that plus it is permanent you do not have to pay for it uh, so basically uh, you can save 20,000 or 10,000 credits every single battle. Uh, when you play with this vehicle and use your repair kit. So it's it's something actually. It is something if you play 100 battles, you know, it adds up. Uh, so let's play a couple battles with it. Uh, let's see how it performs in live action. And uh, hopefully it helps you to make up your decision if you want to pick up this tank or not. Okay, so first up we do get a tier 8 matchmaking with one artillery and uh, two light tanks. They have ELC, they have LT, we have two ELCs, uh, so let's see how that one goes um, on Mountain Bass. You know what? Yeah, because, you know, we, because we have quite a nice mobility, let's uh, try to be... Boom! Oh, no way! Okay, at least tracking, at least tracking, 292 tracking assistants from that amazing first snapshot, basically, which uh, I would say is quite, uh, or is going to be quite a um, rare thing from this gun. I wouldn't say it's going to hit every single snapshot on the move, so that was quite lucky. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to be over here uh, because of our mobility. We are uh, able to be up over here quite fast, and um, I'm able to use this little hill uh, hull down, you know, for the hull down action just like this 
uh, because minus 10 degrees of counter pressure is actually very, very nice. And uh, seems like enemy doesn't send too many tanks up over here right away. So I try to take the inner corner and uh, then let's uh, punish the Brochetto. Let's punish the Brochetto who is even thinking about moving forward a bit. So let's do that. 441. Nice. There is WZ behind me. Who luckily didn't pay attention. Uh, but sadly did pay attention now. And you know what? With my mobility... With my mobility I'm actually able to... Circle WZ, right? Yes? Okay. So, you know... That's always nice. Can I snipe enemy tanks? There's AMBT. I wasn't hull down. Received a shot. Who is it? <laughs> tank destroyer is ramming poor enemy light tank. Oh yeah, this guy is coming back. This guy is coming back. Hmm. ELC up here. Let's see if the AMBT wants to go after ELC or not. Oh, the cavalry arrives. The cavalry definitely does arrive. That's a hit. Hopefully a penetration. Definitely that one was a hit. Scorpion G is repositioned. M uh, M3Y most likely as well. WZ uh, is not spotting anything right now. Now the only way how I'm able to bounce something is when I'm completely hull down. Alright, here is M3Y. Do they have anything up the hill? Doesn't seem like it, right? Does not seem like it. No! No! Did you see where that shot went? And by the way, have you paid attention? You know, when I'm aiming at something, when I'm shooting at something, the shell arc is uh, quite different or the shell angle is quite weird. Quite weird, I I have to say. I'm going to load in AG. D55A up here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You were able to put the shot into me. And you were also able to put the shot into me. But I should be able to take you out now, right? Nice. Beautiful. A little bit of aggression over here, but uh, things are not looking that hot actually anymore. Because I decided to push in like that. Things are definitely not looking hot. B95. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where the heck did he... 55 go. E75 DS is going to flank 704. So guys, simply do not receive a shot. And we should be good. D95 crawling up here. Moving forward. Nice. A little juicy. Rare action. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah, if you pay attention to the shell uh, flight uh, trajectory or however I have to say that, it comes from like bottom left. Pay attention now. Pay attention. You know, it comes uh, like from the left side. Weird. Weird angle. Don't think I have ever seen that before. But now only one big threat left, uh, left which is the 55A. ELC, is ELC able to be cop to kill? And the ELC was actually able to be cop to kill. Okay, so, uh, artillery left, which is up the hill. 
Do you have an angle? I kind of chill. Nice! Beautiful. Uh, 3,679 damage. And if I did hit my blind shot into AM... Uh, well, I did hit my blind shot into AMBT, but if that was a penetration, I think we crossed 4k. And some assistance as well. Uh, so, you know, not bad for a warm-up battle, is what we like to say over here. Well, let's see. Okay, that was a bounce into AMBT. That was definitely a bounce. Decent experience, actually. Decent experience and credits as well because of the missions. Credits because of the missions. Now, on this map, do you have anything to do with Turbo? I don't think so, so let's switch back to the improved hardening. Because I'm not going to be cruising around on the battlefield all the time. Uh, for the start, I'm going to be at the hill area, you know, in the zero line, trying to fight versus enemy tanks up here. Uh, in this, uh, once again, tier 8 battle and, uh, you know, slowly repositioning, so Turbo, uh, for me, is not going to be super useful. I'd rather take the extra hit points and the extra protection this improved hardening uh, gives me. Alright, so, Brochento, Kampfpanzer 50T, Lorraine also trying to get up the hill. Uh, let's see. Kampfpanzer... Anyone else? Anyone else thinking about going up the hill? No artillery, so we can actually be over here and uh, fight up here quite freely. Uh, quite freely. Uh, maybe we can get a little side angle on the Kampfpanzer. Yes, we can. 395. There's D10. D10, Emil. D10 just took the shot. But D54. Most likely, he's able to pick up the frag. Yes, there it is. Ay, 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 ay. I was just about to say, hopefully they do not have any snipers back there. But they did. Okay, so Gunfanzer was still alive. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Now that problem has been fixed. And over here, I do believe we have enough forces. So let me actually... Let me actually reposition. Yes, let me actually reposition because uh, just look at the minimap and you can see how many tanks do we have over here. We definitely do not need another one. So let's go. We set. And 50 DV. Engine fire. That is beautiful to see. That is an absolute beauty to see, actually. Aha, uh -huh, you're aiming at me. I don't want to receive any shots yet, even though it seems like we are once again going to win this fight. Big time. Nice. Quick snapshot. Emil is destroyed. And now I would say it is only sealing to deal. You know, adding this signature to this battle, and this is yet another win. Yes. Okay, Scorpion, yeah, exactly. Exactly the reason why I didn't go in. But one shot into Brochetto just before that guy is able to get away. I bounced uh, off from 430, most likely hitting the turret. Nothing else. Nice. Too much rubble. Debris in front of me, in front of the gun. All right, that guy has been taken care of. Shard Futur and Prochetto still alive. Prochetto is a one shot as well. Can I pick it up? Nope, not fast enough. Did you have fun? Well, maybe a little bit, but uh, let's jump into the next one. And in our final battle, we are in a tier 10 matchmaking on Perlin, and I decided to go with the Turbo. You know, let's play a battle with Turbo as well. You know, we can get up over here very quickly and hopefully able to put some side shots into guys who are trying to be over here as well. For example, that VZ-55. It is always nice to uh, damage VZ early in the game because of how strong the tank actually freaking is, right? Nice. E4 as well. E4 failed driving almost, you know. Made me question my shot right up there. But almost. Oh boy. If that guy is using 
like premium rounds, that's going to be a big problem for me. Nice, another shot. Wait. Wait, what the heck is happening over here? Are we completely alone over here? Or what is going on? What the heck is going on? We have like no allies over here. We have like no freaking allies over here, guys. It doesn't happen too often. When you see this type of action. We have to go way back, guys. We have to reposition a lot. You can see how many tanks and snipers we have in the south, but nothing. Nothing in the city. Or in the north part of the map. Alright. A little repositioning. Nothing that a little repositioning cannot fix, right? Lorraine, 40 T up here. Quick shot in. I can be held down. This can be... This can be bad. This can easily be very bad. Okay, Lorraine 40 T versus Lorraine 50 T. You see that here first, guys. You see that here first. That ramming doesn't do me any favors, to be honest with you. T30. Oy, 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 oy. Okay, they're pushing in hardcore, guys. Um, okay, let's reposition again. And this time we're going even further back because we need to do that. 183 out here. No. We set with 45 hit points. Alright. <clears throat> I feel like... I feel like going after APCR. This is what I feel like right now. Nope, still nothing. And we have to keep uh, falling back. LHMTVs in those trees or in those bushes. Okay. 410 into the turret, but I wasn't aiming over there. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I take that. Alright, LHMTV has been destroyed. This battle definitely still not lost yet. This guy beaks, I'm able to put one shot in. We Z55 is in the dark as well. Good. Good, good, good. One eighty three. Oh boy. Oh big boy. Where is object? Object is over here, so where is WZ? I'm afraid if I beak WZ will be will be punishing me. Unless WZ is sniping from the middle somewhere. Right. Okay, 277 took the shot, so we that please don't be over here. And we that these over here. Yep. Just waiting. Ay ay ay. Exactly 4000 damage done. Exactly 4000 damage done. I was just risking it that we that is not over there. We knew the guy would be up here and sadly he was, you know. Sadly, Wizard did not go back or to snipe from the middle. Uh, was that a bad play? Maybe I should have entered or went in from the other angle, but the other, you know, the middle was also covered. I decided to go for it. Sadly, it did not work out, but uh, 
you know, this metal is not losing a lot, uh, is not looking a 100% loss right now because I think every single tank is one shot. Yeah, absolutely every single tank on the enemy side uh, should be a one shot. D30, DNH, 7-7, WZ, Shard Futur as well. Okay, Centurion is able to pick up that guy. All right. Uh, I think we are going to win this battle unless the uh, team is going to choke it like 100% completely. Prochetto <coughs> is still able to do a lot of uh, work. Okay, here goes Shard Futur. Nice, beautiful. All right. At least we did win this battle with a lot of uh, repositioning. So, Lorraine 50T. What I think about this tank after day one. I have to say, it is my opinion over here, based on my gameplay experience over here with this vehicle. I am not, like, uh, super impressed about this tank. It is, in my opinion, definitely not a vehicle what uh, you should go after day one, you know, buying all the improved passes, completing all the stages, day one. Definitely not that type of vehicle. As I said before, it is, like, faster, 51, with a lot less armor. You know, repositioning is easier, like you saw on this battle, or in this battle with MLA 51, I would not have been able to reposition that easily to, get, to deal the extra damage uh, from sniping, you know, extra pressure uh, from different angles uh, but um, it is it is average at the best for me right now maybe it uh, is going to be is going to behave better later but right now honestly like not super impressed we'll see how the cobra is going to be like i don't know when i'm able to test out cobra definitely not right now but yeah my two cents about lorraine uh, hopefully you enjoyed guys stay safe stay awesome take care and bye